hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to discuss about virtual labs so what is virtual lab and why it is so important for the students especially for physical sciences chemical science and engineering background students to answer this question i can take an example suppose when an institute plans to start a new experiment it is faced with two problems mainly lack of resources and lack of trained faculties to overcome these problems an arrangement has been introduced that is virtual lab it is an initiative that is this virtual labs is an initiative of ministry of human resource development under the national mission on education through to in information and communication technology and this is the web page of this project the web link of this project is www.pillab.co.in here you can study what are the objectives of this project what is the philosophy behind this website this project and what are the features in features it consists of three types of ex experimental mode namely model or simulator based experiment which has been designed by a set of equations and this can provide an approximate version of real world experiment i will explain one by one later in these videos second one is measurement based experiment which provide measured data previously obtained by measurements on an actual system and the third one is remote triggering or remote access experiment in which we can remotely trigger an experiment in an actual lab which provide experimental data through computer interface suppose you are studying in an institute where you don't have any costly equipments like tam nmr bristol angle microscope etc in that case you can remotely access these equipments which are available at other institutes through the remote panel of this web page here are the broad areas of this project physical sciences chemical sciences and almost all the engineering departments are included in this project these are the participating institutes now let's see how to perform experiments with simulator uh, for this i am going to physical sciences from here i am taking an experiment from um, solid state physics for example characteristics of thermistor here you can study the theory what is thermistor how it works and these are the mathematical calculations this is the graph that you have to plot from the recorded data these are the procedures what do you do in the real lab you can study from here and what to be done in the simulation or how to be performed experiment in the simulator you can study from here now let's see how simulator works this is the simulator you have to set up according to the circuit diagram you can see here this is the battery and the positive end of the battery is connected to the positive end of the milliampere so i am connecting these according to the circuit diagram and the negative end of the milliampere is connected to the uh, one end of the thermistor and the other end of the thermistor is connected to the negative end of the battery so i am connecting this now this is a temperature sensor 
you have to connect it with the thermometer so I'm, I have connected from here you can change the type of thermistor you can see here four types of thermistor are there keeping the voltage fix at a value you can measure current from millimeter by varying temperature so I am recording data see at 25 degree centigrade the current is 1 milliampere so by varying temperature we can take uh, different values of current again by changing the voltage uh, again we can change the value of temperature and by varying temperature we can take the values of current from millimeter uh, here you can record your data at the same time uh, this uh, point 0.1 volt temperature 25 it will change automatically at temperature 25 degrees centigrade current was 1 milliampere so resistance will change according to the equation again you can record all the temperatures and current corresponding to the point 0.1 voltage and you can add a row one by one and you can record your data in this section and after the completion of your experiment you can print or you can save the data now let's see self evaluation in this section how much you have understood from this experiment you can evaluate yourself now we'll see how to access remote trigger experiment for this i'm choosing virtual modern physics lab see these two experiment can be performed through remote trigger and I am choosing solar panel experiment here again these are the theories you can study and you can understand by yourself a video is available here where it has explained how to be performed this experiment and a remote panel will not work at this time because it works at the daytime at the working hours and I am recording this video at the night time because the hardware of this experiment remains on only at the daytime of the working days but you can see in this video bulbs will be there and there you can control it how to perform and this experiment the bulbs will be glowing on and the, the whatever the result it will be will be a number of bulbs will be there and there you can when control it remotely you will and here the enter into the remote panel you will be able the, to see whatever it remotely uh, and here this kind of interface where you can uh, regulate these buttons and you can when you will on this bulb button the bulbs will be glowing and on and bulb the, will the whatever the result it will be shown on your solar automatically panel and the curves can be obtained directly that is in the, the IV can physical be lab in your web page and the by changing the here consists of a direct load voltage put to the be giving the in can be seen in turn and density the different can study and you can record hosted at it has been located data solar panel by this experiment yourself. you can vary it by you on your web page by this experiment you can study the car panel and that amrita neuromorphic and electronic biomimicry labs which is being located at amrita school of biotechnology this is how at Kolam, which is in the southern we can Kerala. perform experiments through remote panel
and i think this video will be beneficial for the students of engineering physical physical science and chemical science so i strongly recommend all of you to utilize this virtual lab as much as you can if you still have any queries you can ask me in the comment section if you find this video useful then please do share like and subscribe the channel and thanks for watching